Hey guys, it's Quidditch here, and today we're going to be doing insect Q&A. So today we're going to be looking at some wild insect questions, starting with number one. Can cockroaches survive without their head? Yes, but not for a long time. So, they basically, they can survive without their head, but not for a long time because they need to eat and drink. And they can't regenerate their head. So, question number two. Can black ants and red ants, as seen in my previous videos, coexist together? Answer is yes. And I'm going to show you some good proof. What is this? These are red ants. These are black ants. They both coexist together very well. So, the, so red ants will be eating injured black ants, and black ants will bring dead, you know, um, dead red ant carcasses, but they can coexist easily. So, question number three. Can a fl fly fly in a vacuum chamber? So, the answer is yes or no it depends on the pressure of the vacuum chamber so a fly can fly in a vacuum chamber but if it's too much like the vacuum chamber is like you know a hundred a hundred hertz or something it's not gonna fly it'll just all fall to the ground so number seven why can't insects get big? It's because insects breathe these tiny holes in their abdomen, covered all, all over there, and they're called spiracles. So the oxygen gets used up right when it touches, touches the, you know, needy parts of the insect. But then, if insects were bigger, then they would instantly die because the oxygen will get used up too, too, too short. But back in the Carboniferous period, they were pretty gigantic because the oxygen level was much higher, the highest of all time. So, number four. So, number four. Do worms come out in the rain only to escape flooding? No, no. The answer is no. Worms can can stay underwater for a, at least two weeks or more. So they just don't come out. It's because it's just the right time for them to come out because there's not much predators and they would cook in the sun. Like if you put an a worm on a stove, which I would really not do, it would fry, of course, certainly. So, number five. Can insects make sounds? Yes, they can. This is really easy, they can. I don't need any explanation because, you know, they just can. I mean, take cicadas, number four. Why does a fly be able to make such cool turns? Like, it's because of these tiny dumbbell shaped things called, I don't know what they're called. They just look like dumbbells under their wings. They actually evolved from wings. You know, most insects have four wings, right? You must have seen that for yourself. So, you know, they can. It's basically they can because those spiracles help them. Their spiracles push out air much faster. And I'm talking about flies. So they push out much faster and, and those pressure if they if they sense any humans coming 
that will mimic the fly's um, normal practices, except it's going to be a little bit more higher, which is why the fly is so hard to capture. So, number... I don't know what number. Okay. So, next question. How bad can insect bites get? So, if you haven't noticed, I got an insect bite right here. They can get pretty bad. It depends on species. Red ants, uh, aka fire ants, no problem. Mm, no problem. You can handle them. Black ants, no way. They can't sting. But bullet ants, no. They give you a wallop. They can kill people and executioner wasp the no, no no that's way over the top so you okay so you get the point they're basically lots and lots of stinging insects and we are still discovering them so yeah nobody knows so final question do insects sweat like me no the insects do not sweat and they're going to be pretty 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 sweatless because you know they don't have the right proper machinery to sweat and other so this is a bonus question how many insects are there in the world Please answer that in the comments, and please like, share, subscribe, and be tuned. So next time, I'm going to do reptile Q&A, and then mammal Q&A, fish Q&A, and, you know, it goes on and on. So please like, share, subscribe, stay tuned, and we're going to see you on the next episode. Bye!